Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of our Terraria Mobile Master Mode Let's Play. Right now I'm just filling up a pool of water because what I want to do is I want to make one of these like pools of water in every biome so I can fish there um, because I want to do some angler quests. I haven't done that in the series yet and I want to get on that so let me just finish this up. Uh, I think it's right about full, maybe one more all right that sounds good so my plan is to build a bunch of these pools in like the overworld like in the crimson desert snow ocean whatever because i want to do some fishing quests okay so for the first thing i want to do is i want to sell this gold bunny because we found the gold bunny off camera uh in the uh in our cavern houses and we actually found two, but I already sold the first one. I don't know if the spawn rates are increased for these guys, but you know, I'm not complaining. Let's quick stack that and all right. So I actually want to buy a couple of things from the zoologist first. I want to get the cat license and the dog license. And what these guys or what these things do is they summon a pet for a town. And that, that sounds really cool. So I want to first summon uh we should summon a cat in the cavern town and uh i guess we wait now um hopefully the cat will come soon <laughs> all right so while we're waiting for the cat let's just summon the dog wow okay um so i'm not sure when these uh these pets come in but uh hopefully they'll come in soon Okay, so the next thing I want to do in this episode is to explore the underground desert biome. Um, because we haven't explored it yet. We've explored the underground jungle, we've explored like the underground snow biome, but not the underground desert. And the reason why I want to explore it in this episode is because they revamped it in 1.4. There's like a bunch of new things, and I want to see what kind of new stuff they have. So yeah. Uh, so let's go explore it and let's see if we can find anything interesting or new. So I actually want to test out these new scarab bombs that like I think they dropped from the pods. And oh that's pretty cool. They're just like um... Oh okay. It's just like a bomb that like uh, explodes straight. Alright. That's nice. Alright so this is our first desert house. Um, just gotta defeat this ant lion charger first. Let's see, let's see what's in the chest and a snake charmer's flute. This is new, so um, let's see what it does. Uh, oh, so it's like um, it basically makes like ropes up. Okay, that's that's cool to know, I guess. <laughs> um, it might be useful in like going up to sky islands. Ooh, okay, so we just found another house with an extractinator and a chest. So let's see what's in here. An ancient chisel increases mining speed by 25%. All right, nice. I'd say that's pretty useful. I'll tell you what, you get a bunch of scarab bombs in the desert. Like I have 40 already and I've only been exploring for like a couple minutes. Oh wow, okay, that's a new trap <laughs> when just like a bunch of sand falls on you. Okay. Okay, so we just found another house. And let's see what is in this chest. It is a magic conch which teleports you to the ocean biome. That is really useful. And what is this? An encumbering stone. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but prevents item pickups while in the inventory. Okay, um, I guess that's pretty useful if you don't want like, if you're like exploring somewhere and you don't want anything to be picked up. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, I should probably put that in my piggy bank though, because I do want to pick up items right now. Ooh, another house, okay. Let's go see what's in this house, alright. Um, and another snake charmer's loot. All right, that's whatever. Oh, 
Okay, so, um, rolling cactuses do a lot of damage. Okay, good to note. Good to note. Okay, so there is another house here with a chest. Uh, let's go see what's in it. And it is another magic conch. Cool. And we'll grab the extractinator just, just for the heck of it. Oh, there's just a regular desert chest here with another ancient chisel. Ooh, the traveling merchant has arrived. Let's see what he has. Uh, where is he? He is in the desert biome. Hello. Do you have anything useful for me? We have a zapinator. Um. Yeah, of course we're going to buy this. 54 magic damage? That's insane. Oh. This is one of, like, um... If you don't know, this is a pretty OP weapon. Because sometimes it, like, launches, like, broken... I don't know. It, sometimes it launches, like, broken zaps. Which, like, do a bunch of damage. This weapon's broken. That's what I'm saying. It's even in the tooltip. It might be broken. So, uh, it's gonna be a pretty useful item. And I don't think it uses any mana with the... With the meteorite armor, so this is this this is like this might replace my space gun actually. Wow, that's really that was really lucky. For the past couple episodes, we had like bad traveling merchants who weren't selling anything useful, but today, the Zappinator. Yes, yeah, if, if you just saw it, there was like a a zap or a projectile that just like flew by, and I'm that's like one of the broken things. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you just saw it again. Yeah, you, you see it multiple times. I'm assuming those things do like a bunch of damage. Look, there's like, whoa, there's like a bunch of broken projectiles. It's, it's, it's a weird weapon, but it's, it's, it's honestly a really cool one. Whoa, did you see that? I'm not sure. If that did insane knockback. That knocked the antlion like so far away. 466 damage per second. Did you guys see that? Oh, I'm in love with this weapon. Okay, so I think I had enough with the underground desert for today. Um, I did want to find the golfer NPC, but I think I'll just have to find him off camera because I have been searching for a while. And yeah, so I'd say that was pretty successful. We've got magic conches, which take us to the ocean and I'm pretty sure if we use it again it'll take us to the other ocean yes and yeah it's gonna be pretty useful let's sort out our inventory because I do want to do another thing in this episode so the next thing I want to do in this episode is to fight something called the torch god now what the torch god is is it's basically something that'll like it's kind of like a boss fight Sort of. I'm not really sure. But we're going to have torches thrown at us. And we have to dodge it. And at the end, we get a reward. Um, I'm not sure if my explanation is perfectly clear. But you'll see what I'm talking about if you guys don't know about the Torch God. Um, it's going to be an interesting fight. It's it's a little different than what you usually see. So I'm excited to, I'm excited to see how this goes. Okay, so I just finished making this little arena, and to summon the Torch God, we basically just need to put down a bunch of torches. I think we need about a hundred of them, and then something will happen. Um, so yeah, let's let's do that, and let's see what happens. I'm excited. All right, so let's make let's make about a hundred torches, 99 sure, and let's just start putting a bunch of them down, and let's see what happens. Okay, um, okay, so this is, this is the, this is the Torch God event. Basically, it just throws down a bunch of torches at us, and we have to dodge it. Uh, okay. Oh no, getting hit. Um, oh, these things do a lot of damage. I'm not that great at dodging. Um, okay. 
I was just testing. I did not know what was going to happen in this fight. But we can try it again. We been... <laughs> We don't have much to lose because summoning the Torch God only requires some torches. So, yeah, let's go back and try that again until we eventually, I guess, defeat it. Okay, so let's try that again. Um, I'm not the best at dodging, so it's probably going to take me multiple tries. But hopefully it doesn't take too long because, you know, okay, starting. All right. I'm going to be like super focused, or at least try to be focused on this. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm not good at dodging. Uh, okay. Alright, so it's gonna take me a while, um, so I guess I'll just cut until I do defeat the Torch God because... Oh man. I am terrible at dodging. <laughs>Okay, so I'm gonna try and expand the arena because I've been trying to defeat the Torch God for a while now and I just keep dying, so hopefully a longer arena will do it. Okay, so we just defeated the Torch God. All it took was a bigger arena. And, you know, I'd, I think I was having trouble because, yeah, my arena was too small. But let's go back home and let's see what we got because we got the Torch God's flavor. Not f <laughs> the Torch God's flavor. No, this is the Torch God's favor. It unlocks an ability to toggle to the left of the inventory. When enabled, normal torches change according to your biome. So let's use it and nice. So I think it's in tools and you can activate it and deactivate it. Um, let's test it out. Let's go to like, uh, let's go to the ice biome and let's put down some uh, torches. So yes. If we're in the ice biome, we put down ice torches, desert biomes, desert torches, etc, etc. You know what I mean. Alright. So, that's a, that's a good tip. I was having trouble before. Um, so if you are having trouble with the torch god, all you need to do is build a bigger arena. And yeah. And would you look at that? The party girl has just arrived to celebrate the torch god's defeat. Nice. Okay. Um, so let me clean out my inventory first and I'll get back to you guys. Oh, look at me putting down jungle torches in the jungle biome. Isn't that nice? 
Okay, so the last thing I want to do in this episode is to build a couple jungle houses because as you know, there is a jungle pylon in this game and I want it. And it'll also complete our pylon network for pre-hard mode. We got the ocean pylon, the snow pylon, the forest pylon, desert pylon, cavern pylon, and now we're gonna get the jungle pylon. So yeah, I'm planning on building the houses with some gray brick and some mahogany wood. So let's get started. Okay, everyone, we are finally finished building our jungle houses. We have built three of them, and I gotta say, I think it looks pretty nice. So let's go buy our jungle pylon, and let's put it down. So now we can finally teleport across the world from the left side, basically to the right side. So now we don't have to waste an inventory space for the magic conch. Isn't that nice? So we finally got our pylon system set up for pre-hard mode. Um, we've got six pylons in total. And in hard mode, we can get the mushroom pylon, the hollowed pylon, and I think we get a universal pylon as well. But I'm not 100% sure. And oh, our dog is on a sky island. Okay. Um, that's pretty cool, I guess. Um... But yeah, uh, I'd say this was a pretty successful episode. We defeated the Torch God, and we've got the Zapinator too. Um, off camera, I'll try and find the Golfer. And yeah, I would like to thank all of you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and consider subscribing. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.